this video, we're going to demonstrate what happens when you light a firework upside down. Welcome back to Backyard Fireworks. Hope everyone's having a great, wonderful day. Today we're going to demonstrate what happens when we light all of these fireworks the wrong way. Now I know what you guys are thinking. Why or how would anyone light fireworks upside down? However, it is a problem that happens every year. And this video is solely just to show what can happen if you do it and how to light them properly. People light them all the time upside down, although it may seem simple, but beginners may not know how. So we're going to show you guys how to do that and why you should never light fireworks upside down. So we have some here to test out, and we're still gonna have some fun today. We still have some very fun fireworks we're gonna enjoy, like this snake. I'm gonna light it upside down to see what can happen, and if it will work. I'm very curious, because this is actually one that would be very easy to light upside down. Like I said, we're going to have a snake. I've actually always been really curious what happens when you light a snake upside down. So we're gonna set this down right here. It's kind of gonna have room to go underneath so let's see if that will happen again do not try any of this stuff at home because it can be dangerous and I have all the safety precautions as you can see nothing's gonna catch on fire today so let's see what this snake is gonna do here it's trying really hard oh it's coming up that is cool <laughs> that is actually awesome look at that that is so cool. I can have a little fire to warm my hands up. Like, actually, <laughs> that is awesome. That is so, that's such a cool effect. Look at that. That is actually might be the new way to light it. It's so cool to watch it come up. That is awesome. Look at that. Wow, that is so cool. Look at that. Look how, I love these little snakes to come in those little circle things. Those are awesome. And it's still going. Look at it. That is awesome. Okay, so you guys saw in the video clearly, this was so cool. It went and flipped back on the back side. That is really cool. Okay, now we're going to demonstrate what happens when you light a bottle rocket upside down. Let's see what's going to happen. Okay, so this is just going to be like a firecracker, but let's just see. Wow, the thing, oh, there it goes. <laughs> it kind of startled me. There's the bang at the end there. Okay, wow. <laughs> You can see just how damaging it is if you guys don't light it the right way. All right, so we have a Dominator Starburst firework. This is basically a 24-shot Saturn missile, if I remember correctly. You can see shoots, flaming balls, and reports. So what we're going to do, you can see this is clearly the top upside down. Okay. Well, let's set it over here. All right. I'm going to light the fuse, and I'm going to get back as far as I possibly can just in case. Whoa. That was wild. Okay. Wow. Look at this, everybody. It somehow managed the tip right back over to the right side. So, I know it's not designed like that. I mean, it could be by doubt it. So, I'm thinking it's the first one projected it and then flipped it over. And the rest just went straight up. Because if you notice from the video, it looked completely fine. There's nothing out of the ordinary. And I actually did not even notice it flip when I lit it. I just thought they're coming out of the bottom somehow. I had no idea. That is really kind of cool. I did notice there was one in there, and I'm glad I stood back. So I'm going to pack it full of snow just in case nothing happens. I don't think anything is going to come out of that now. <laughs> okay, now I want to see what happens to this Twitter glitter. It's going to be really interesting to see. So here's what happens when you light Twitter glitter. And here it's still lit. Got to back up. There it goes. Oh, wow. You can hear it going. I'm going to step back over here. And there should be a shot at the end, I think. Maybe not. Okay, so I'm going to give that some time, and then we're going to go inspect it. Okay, so it's been quite a amount of time now, and it's almost done smoking entirely, so it is off, I think. So, look at this. That is crazy looking. Just look inside of that. That is awesome. Yeah, that is really cool. Again, just do never try any of this at home. This is just for uh, research purposes and curiosity. Um, never try it at home. So we're going to go with this Saturn missile battery, and we're going to try lighting boom boom, 
and then of course we're going to light this upside down which i'm most curious about actually so the challenging thing is it's going to get the saturn missile on its back without flipping any of them off <laughs> okay i think i got it this fuse is also going to be challenging to light but let's try it out here oh there it goes back up for this one the fuse might have went out the snow might have caused it to go out. I think that's might have what happened. We're gonna wait and try to light it again if it's not too bad. All right, so we are not gonna end up lighting the Saturn missile. It's too dangerous to light. So we're gonna move on to the other ball of shells. My theory on why that didn't light had nothing to do with the snow actually. I think whenever the fuse was lit, all the pressure forced the fuse not to get lit past the point that it was sitting on top of. So we're gonna see if that's gonna happen with this. <laughs> Clearly it won't. The snow is actually great for this experiment. We're gonna light this, and this is a double breaker, so we're gonna get back. Whoa! Look how wide that burst was. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay, so we're gonna try this Roman candle, and I'm not really sure how I'm going to do this. I think I'm gonna just lay it down like this more than face down because there may nothing may happen if I do that, which I think is more probable. So we're gonna light it just like this, and it's probably just gonna shoot out. Let's stick it in the snow a little bit just to see a little bit what happened. That break on the other one, or double break I should say, is way wider than I imagined. I know it was on the ground level, so obviously the break's gonna appear bigger. However, it was way bigger than I remember. I think it might be bigger than those ball shells we might light. Okay, here goes the candle. It's gonna be a little bit different for the boom than the last one. <laughs> Whoa, that's actually weird looking. It's like a jumping jack. Wow, that is kind of cool actually. That was a little more cool than I expected. Like when the little uh, spark came out of the candle, it was like floating on top. That was really neat actually gotta light another one of these again this is not how you light fireworks everybody but we are just testing and we're gonna have fun <laughs> all right here we go all right this is a red candle don't know if it's actually red or not but whoa that one actually kind of went out a little bit oh i didn't put it low enough oh there it goes <laughs> oh that was cool i think that is really cool look at the like blast radius of it look at that that is really cool looking. Wow, that is really awesome. Look at all the black it created. That's crazy. Okay, everybody. Again, do not, and I repeat, do not try this at home. Okay, let's get that set down in there. Light it off. Whoa. Wow. Look at the smoke bloom for that. Wow. Boy, did that sure look cool. Okay, so walking up to the tube. Wow, it is actually intact. I cannot believe that. Wow, it feels like there's snow or something in there. I don't know what that could be. But that, that actually really surprised me that this tube's still intact. Wow. So I guess it just opened up immediately and then the ball like exploded outside um, it was kind of hard for me to tell because i wasn't looking at it. i was looking through my camera but yeah that was actually kind of interesting for sure for reference i want to show you guys what a normal ball shell would look like in this tube um just to see like what it would do and look like just a size comparison from what it exploded on the ground all right so let's see what this ball shell again i know it's daytime so it's not going to be the best measurement but you will still be able to tell pretty well these fuses are wild i need a definitely a different lighter for this Whoa, there it goes. Well, that's a nice crackle to it. It was actually really cool. So the, from my angle, I could see the ball shell in the air so clearly. I followed it so perfectly. That's something I can't usually see at night. Granted, it has a glow usually so you can see that, but not the physical ball. That was really cool. And guys, so that is what happens when you light fireworks upside down. Never try it at home. Again, this was just for uh, educational purposes. Do not try it at home. But I hope everyone has a great and wonderful day. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, guys, stay safe out there. And I hope everyone has a great, wonderful day. Some backyard fireworks, guys. Peace!